No one's going to be like, hey, do you mind if I sell my portfolio before you? Hey, do you mind if I sell my, my Bitcoin before you? Like no one's going to do that, first of all, and no one's going to want to do that. You can't have a buyer and seller and both of you win at the same time. Someone wins and someone loses. What's up, guys? Recently, Dr. Martin, can't say his last name, on uh, Twitter announced that Uphold is delisting USDT, Tether, and five stable coins by July 1st, citing Mika. Okay, it says, apart from Uphold, other ma major crypto exchanges, including Binance, Kraken, and OKX, also tweaked their stable coins listings policies to comply with Mika regulations. Mika is the Europe standard. Uh, for regulation, for those who don't know, and it looks right here. See, Europeans Union Market and Crypto Asset Regulation. Um, so it's not just the U.S. who's having strict regulations. It's also in Europe as well. So this is like the first big step towards clamping down on crypto. Um, obviously, Uphold is a regulated exchange, so they're going to comply, right? Uh, it's not as bad as it seems. Like, yes, USDT is pretty bad because now a lot of people who are using Uphold that are not from the U.S. or from other countries that can have a stable coin that can support their their currency, they probably might move on to something else. I mean, obviously, USDC is not going away. So it anyway, says right here, we'll continue supporting USDC. But there's other cryptocurrency stable coins that people can use, investors can use uh, when the time comes to take profits because the majority of people will take profits uh, probably into a stable coin first before they put it into their bank because you know especially if you have a lot of money it's it's very hard or it's unlikely you're gonna just take like a million dollars or something and put it onto your bank in one shot you'll probably get rejected so with uh, minimizing volatility and doing small amounts over time it does make sense to have a stable coin so in this case usdt was very popular usdc is what i'm going to be migrating towards usdc um but these are popular ones. I know uh, DAI is popular, Gemini, Stablecoin, and obviously USDT. So it was a little bit of a shock to me, but I guess if you're following the news, you probably aren't too shocked. Uh, for those who are holding those Stablecoins, you have to get out of them and move them uh, by June 28th, I believe. Although it says June 30th here when it's going into effect. Um, just make sure you're taking advantage. Uh, this is why you don't want to be taking time off crypto because you know imagine if you just took the whole summer off and you're holding a lot of fiat and these stable coins on uphold for whatever reason and you come back in you know two weeks from now and you're like what the hell happened this is why you can't take off crypto because it changes so much and as we see more regulation more adoption take place we're going to see more stuff like this take place so i'll um, just keep that in mind but um uphold is one of the better exchanges this is where i buy my caspa primarily uh, I'm on Turbo, Miro, so I do buy uh, quite often on Upholds. I do use it a lot. I never had any issues with it. Um, their fees are a little bit higher. They have a limit, too. You can only buy like uh, a certain amount. You can only sell a certain amount, so that is annoying um, in terms of regulating the investors. But other than that, it's a pretty good exchange. you got a wide variety of crypto, but uh, this is why you got to be careful with crypto. Uh, it says right here also SEC to drop investigation to Ethereum. I mean, come on, we all knew that was going to happen, right? Like, it was a nothing burger to begin with, which was click it and read it. Um, this is very bullish for Ethereum, and that's why Ethereum was having a little bit of a rally today. Um, SEC to drop investigation. Uh, it's closing its investigation to Ethereum, though consensus said a fight isn't over yet. So they're probably going to try to manipulate a little bit more. This is That's all it is, guys. This is all manipulation. They want to scare you. Ethereum is the biggest asset. If they can attack that and cause fear, all the tokens they're in will be also having that fear and investors will just run for the hills and pull their money like freaking sheep and realize in due time it was the worst mistake of their life. Um, so closing its investigation to Ethereum 2.0, okay. This means that the SEC will not bring charges alleging that sales of Ethereum are security transactions which the firm hailed as a major win for Ethereum developers, technology providers, and in the industry uh, participants. And then it says down here, um, consensus said the SEC decision came after I sent a letter to the agency on June 7th. Like they announced a spot and then they're trying to say security. So again, this is why it's very contradicting of uh, the SEC. And it's funny enough, they're supposed to protect retail investors, but obviously... 
they're not. Um, so it's very ironic what's happening, but at the same time, it's not surprising, right? Because again, the whales, politicians, the influencers, the ones who people trust the most, they're manipulating you the most. They're trying to shake you out. They don't want you to become financially free. They want you to work your job for 60 years, for 40 years. They don't want you to make money in crypto. See, the faster you realize that, that you're on your own, it's a player versus player market, you'll understand this and you'll make better decisions going forward. That's why it's important to understand the news in crypto. I know this is probably boring to some of you. You're probably like, what the hell? Where's the crypto? Where's the top coins? And I'm like, well, this is important to know. You have to understand what's going on, right? You can buy the best crypto, but if you're not aware of what's going on, regulations, laws, and what's happening with crypto and the whales and smart money, you, you'll be like underwater. Okay, you want to tread the water, yes, but you don't want to be underwater drowning and suffocating. You want to add some oxygen. This is oxygen, being aware of what's going on, right? Uh, so, let's see. So, yeah, they had a wealth notice. It's good to know that they're uh, backing off. Um, again, this is pretty much, you know, it, it was just one giant distraction. That's all it was. This is all a big, giant distraction. A lot of what's happening in crypto is a big distraction. You know, everything that's going on with the SEC, uh, people are trying to just shake you out. Again, this is literally like something. This is the final dump before the big pump, uh, whatever the case may be. This could last another week, two weeks, a whole summer. Who knows? Um, I have been through a couple summers now in crypto, and I've noticed that the majority of summers are red because people sell for, you know, going to their bars, going to the beaches, going on vacations. You know, people kind of live their best life, per se. Uh, when you combat that with manipulation, that's where I expect more red, more discounts, more tags to be in crypto, which we've been seeing, right? Um, obviously, if your portfolio is not up to par to where you think it's good for the old coin season, this is the time to make moves, right? I said it in pr pretty much every video I cover. Make a move, stop talking, start doing. Because if you don't make a move, guess who's going to make it? Your fellow player, who's going to make it before you and dump on your head? Again, player versus player market. Fish eat, fish market. You know, like I know some of you like being part of communities. You know, my Discord's a great group if you're interested. But again, even in, in these groups, right? Yeah, we support each other, but no one's going to be like, hey, do you mind if I sell my portfolio before you? Hey, do you mind if I sell my, my Bitcoin before you? Like no one's going to do that, first of all, and no one's going to want to do that. Because again, you know, if you sell a crypto, it goes down in price. This person has to, you know, sell for a cheaper price and vice versa. They have to have a buyer and a seller. You can't have a buyer and seller and both of you win at the same time. Someone wins and someone loses. That's how crypto works, but also how stocks work, okay? It works in every asset class. you got to have a buyer and seller. Someone has to buy your top and someone has to sell your bottom to get a good entry, right? So um, obviously being well-rounded in the news, the picks, the regulations, the stable coins, it all ties in, right? And I, I explain this in my profit-taking course, you know, especially in relation to Bitcoin, all coin season, the timing, the stable coins getting out, knowing when to get out, the fear and greed index. I explain all this in my course. If you're interested, it's in the pinned comments down below and also description. Um, it's a very good course. A lot of members love it already. And um, again, you know, you got to prepare for these things, right? Because if you... If you kind of have like a set closed mind to what's going on in the market and something like this happens with like an exchange delisting your coin, delisting your steel coin or doing something along the way of where you have to change your investing strategy or pivot and do something else. If you're not aware of, of what can happen, you'll be shocked and you'll be having that home alone face we all hate, right? So it's definitely important to be up to date with the news. That's why I never take a day off crypto. Sometimes I won't make a video, but I'm always researching and reading, always trying to be very well versed what's going on out there in the market and the news. But if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, follow my buy alerts, my sell alerts, become the next financially free investor, which we have over 40 already. And someone just announced on Twitter last night that I shared over 40 investors who have made six to seven figures already. Remarkable, already financially free. If you want to be the next one, then I encourage you to join Patreon and Discord. But anyways, I hope these news helped you. Um, I'm just curious what you guys think. How do you feel about these new uh, Europe uh, Union regulations in, in relation to Uphold? And what do you think about the SEC backing off Ethereum? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. really helps so much that being said. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.